Honestly, I didn't really have that much resources with my mom. I had somewhere to sleep, but I had to figure out still how was I going to get food, how am I going to go to school, and my mom couldn't help me out with that. She was too broke at the time, so I left and I went to the shelters where I knew I could get food. I could get resources that I needed. One of the hardest places I've ever stayed was East Lake Bridge. A lot of people there also had a lot of just, like, anger. One of my first nights there, there was actually a kid that almost got a hammer through his head. The hardest part of being homeless is stigma. It's hard when no one really cares, and you see that every day. That's, that's your life. People think, oh, they choose to be homeless, which isn't true. There's a lot of youth out there that were kicked out or left because where they were going was better than sitting at home. Sitting under a bridge is safer than sitting in a home for some people. Once a homeless youth find housing, that's not the end of it because housing is impermanent. So you gotta make sure that you're constantly preparing yourself to continue and be in a stable environment after housing. You can't just expect your housing situation to be that forever. I think there are a lot of misperceptions and stigma around young people that we see that are experiencing homelessness. But I can tell you, I have talked to so many of these young people, heard their powerful personal stories, and not one of them chooses to be homeless. I think they are so much like our children. They have the same hopes, dreams, and potential. I think it's time that we invest in the future for our community. I advocate because I want to make a change in policy. I want other people experience homelessness to not experience things that I had to experience. YAS is an acronym for Youth Advocates Ending Homelessness, and it empowers youth who are experiencing homelessness or who have experienced homelessness, give them a voice so that they are able to utilize their story and help improve other people's lives who have also experienced it. When a young person who's experienced homelessness comes to talk to the governor, talk to the first lady, testify in front of a committee. It takes it from the realm of a statistic, this big problem that we have to solve, and it puts this human face on it. You see this person sitting in front of you who has been on the street, who has maybe kept all of their belongings in a trash can because there was no place else to put them and that compels action. I mean, that's the thing that this could be my brother, it could be my sister, it could be my kid. And it's that human face, that human element that really takes it out of that kind of ethereal policy world and makes you think, I need to do something about this right now. The youth that are sitting on the streets a lot of times don't have that confidence to be able to be like, hey, this needs to change. They just kind of put up with it while the youth that are in Yeah are like, hey, this needs to change. We're going to talk to these policymakers. We're going to make sure something happens. I think the biggest success that we have seen is with the passage of Senate Bill 5404. It's the bill that creates the Office of Youth Homelessness Protection and Prevention. And there were two really cool things about that bill. Um, the first, before it ever got to the legislative arena, was that the youth advocates got together and they helped inform policymakers on what exactly needed to be in the bill. What kinds of things do we need to change? Once Governor Inslee introduced it as executive request legislation, the youth were down there in force. They came and testified at hearings. They talked to individual legislators. They talked to the governor. They talked to the first lady. And they kept after it until this bill was passed. This bill is a, a watershed moment in terms of how we think about preventing youth from being on the street. So none of that would have been possible without the care, the dedication, the diligence of the youth advocates for Mockingbird. So it's been really cool this last year to see things that we thought up and ideas that we wanted to push into action actually happen, and it actually does happen. So working with Yeah has allowed myself to realize that what I want to do for my future.
My favorite part of the job is I feel like I'm helping out other people who have been in my situation before. I'm hoping that with my degree that I'm working on right now, I could help with curing cancer, even malaria. It would be really awesome for me to know that I'm helping save lives. Being homeless, I have learned that no matter how hard life can get, I know I have the strength and the willpower to get myself out of it. Even if things seem tough at the moment, I know I can do it. I know I can count on myself to do it. I want to get my master's in uh, social and human services and also have my chemical dependency certification. I want to be able to uh, work with homeless youth and be uh, either a case manager or even just a chemical dependency specialist and just help them. You know, a number of years ago, I had a brief encounter with a homeless teenage girl, and she was really the catalyst for me and for the Rakes Foundation to become involved in and to be committed to ending youth homelessness. From the beginning, I knew that youth would have a significant role in the work, but the Mockingbird youth have far exceeded our expectations. I have seen those young people touch hearts, I have seen them raise the visibility of the issue, and more importantly, I have seen them change minds and move policy. And that even though we can only get one thing changed, even that one thing can give someone else that confidence to be able to get another thing changed. And then we get many more things changed in the future. What I would like to say is just thank you to everyone that has helped in the past and possibly will be helping in the future, because it's, it's really a big thing that every single person can make a difference if they just try.